So I got to ask this, and, and this is something really, really f for y'all to think about. And, you know, we, we can't really, can't really ask you, you know, straight up, but um, it's always nice to have a discussion and something for y'all to think about. Um, but, you know, what does authenticity mean to you? Like, what does it mean to be authentic, you know? And, and the answer I often get is being true, to, being true to your, being real, you know, but being true to yourself, not, you know, um, faking the funk, not, you know, pretending, um, you know, do you, you know, really you, um, don't, you know, um, don't, don't, don't lie about shit, you know, don't, don't front, you know, all that stuff, and, you know, um, but the important thing is, is, you know, so I mean, you get it, right? Being authentic is just being, being real, being your true self, um, you know, which is what I'm doing right now on a goddamn camera uh, in, a in a class, um, you know, so love it or hate it, probably hate it, but it's, it's cool, I, I'm used to that shit. Um, but who defines what, what, authentic, what, authentic, what authentic means? Um, and that's a real, I would say, almost philosophical, theoretical question, right? Because who defines what authenticity means, you know? Um, with, with music, I mean, that's really hard, right? Does, um, are you a real, um, a real MC because you're lyrical? Are you a real MC because you do what you rhyme, what you rhyme about? or you are what you rhyme about, or you are who you rhyme about, who you are on, on, on a record, or, or you know, does, a re does having a record label, a major record label backing you and put out your records, does that make you authentic? Or does starting your own indie record label make you authentic? You know, it, um, does sampling records make you an authentic hip hop producer or whatever, or beat maker, or does sampling original press records make you, you know, authentic, you know, um, so who defines that, you know, and, you know, the, the culture is one answer, the, the, the culture, you know, um, partly defines that, and, and what is hip-hop, and who's in hip-hop culture, I mean, that's just such a, uh, that's a, that's just a, such a can of worms, you know, but um, a lot of that kind of goes back to a lot of the OG pioneer aesthetics we talked about with Herc and Flash and, you know, Theodore and like those early days, you know, um, you know, a lot of the rules that were sort of established that, you know, got supported over the years in, in very various days and, um, you know, but, you know, we could say fans, you know, decide whether someone's real or authentic or not enough, you know, fans of the music, um, whatever, you know, some people would say sales figures, you know, whatever. Um, so it's kind of a murky thing. I mean, you may decide if one of your favorite artists are real or not. And maybe you do not give a fuck. And it seems to be like, who cares? <laughs> At this point, it doesn't seem like it's a big deal. Um, especially with rap music, like, whatever, like, it's entertainment. We kind of understand that, you know, that it's entertainment, that it's, it's fun, that it's, that it's, you know, uh, something we enjoy, it's something we consume, like, movies and video games and books, and, yeah, we know, like, a movie ain't real, or a story in a book ain't real, maybe based off of real, real shit that someone heard or saw or experienced or did, um, but we know it ain't real, you know, so what's the, that expectation with rap, right? Like, it's, it's fucking basically, you know, WWE, you know, pretty much, you know. Um, you're entertained by it, you, you know there's a bunch of bullshit in there, uh, but, you know, you like it, you like the sound, who cares, you know. Well, listen, in the early 90s, motherfuckers cared, you know, and specifically New York City, because there was a major, major, like, here's the deal, you're, here you are, you know, this part of the world, you know, of the country, but of the world where hip-hop started, you know what I'm saying, like, legitimately started there, there's no dispute about that, right, and on the West Coast, you have a hip-hop culture that is, as, as we've seen, way, way behind, you know, and then, boom, 
you know, NWA changes, changes that game on a major level. And then, woof, you know, Dre and Snoop, like, woof, I mean, it's just like that took over. You know, you even had like East Coast rappers making G-Funk sounding music, you know. Um, but, you know, the other thing I like to wonder too is like, why is authenticity, uh, authenticity uh, prioritized in, in hip hop music? Like why, like why? Like why is that a big, why is that like a, even a, who, who cares? You know, um, what, do, what does that matter? You know, and does that exist in other music genres? You know, does that exist in rock or punk? Um, and I'd say it, it does, you know, in, in, in some, in some, some ways, right? You know, um, you know, not caving to what a record label wants you to do or, or what, you know, not caving to popular trends or, you know, not caving to sell, you know, as a black artist to sell records to white, to white kids, you know, whatever, whatever it is, you know, um, but, you know, I think in hip hop, it, it kind of gets to be, um, you know, prioritized because there's still this, um, you know, this cultural sort of element to it. There's still this B-boy, B-girl, you know, bombing, writing graffiti, you know, DJing, um, emceeing, like part of it, you know, and then there's rap, you know? And so the cultural part is, 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 is always gonna be the underlying foundation of the performance art that you consume, you know? Um, and within, you know, hip hop as a culture, you know, there is a prioritization on authenticity, being authentic to the culture and the values of the culture and the rules, written or unwritten, that were established, you know, um, in the early and mid 70s, you know, and changed with rapper's delight and changed when, you know, hip hop culture gets commodified and turned into a, into a product, you know,